Ladies and gentlemen, today we're back again with another why you should play video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Punisher 2099. He's a champion that I've been sleeping on for a while now. And only until the recent Inferno competition was I really able to see how strong he truly is. But like we always do with these kinds of videos, let's actually go over all of his abilities first and then later on discuss why you should play him. Punisher has a battery that begins with 40% max charge every fight and every 3.5 seconds that pass, the battery will actually trigger a recharge. If the opponent has 0 buffs, the battery recharge is 9%. If they have one buff, then it'll recharge at 7%, and if they have two or more buffs, then the battery recharges at 4%. As for his automatic effects, whenever the opponent activates a regen buff, he consumes 15% of the battery to then inflict a heal block on them for 10 seconds, and this heal block automatically reapplies itself if the regen is still active when it expires. Now when he himself drops below 15% health, his battery will be drained completely to then grant him a regen buff lasting for 10 seconds and healing him for a certain amount of health based on how full the battery was. As for his heavy attack, it consumes 10% of the battery to then inflict a 1.5 second stun debuff which can actually allow you to stun lock the opponent although it's not as strong compared to Hulk's. As for his overdrive state, which triggers when his battery reaches 100%, it'll cause his battery to drain continually until it reaches zero, and while it's active, he cannot recharge it until it's drained entirely. Another effect of his overdrive is that he gains a lot of attack rating while he's in it, and its biggest effect is that his attacks will grant the opponent 90% less power. But moving on to his special attacks, the special one. He momentarily switches his battery into overcharge mode, allowing him to gain 20% charge over 10 seconds, and this is one heck of a special attack to take into the block. The special two. It consumes 15% of his battery to activate an effect that prevents passive evades from triggering, and it also grants him a lot of critical rating. The final hit has a 100% chance to inflict an armor break debuff, removing an armor up effect and reducing armor rating by a significant amount, which only lasts for 15 seconds, and if his battery has at least 10% charge, it'll then expend that amount to double the duration. And last but not least, the special 3. It consumes 40% of his battery to inflict a non-stacking disintegration debuff which deals direct damage over time and reduces the opponent's combat power rate by 90%. This debuff only lasts for 20 seconds but let's actually move on to his awakened ability. It allows him to start each fight with 25% more charges and once the opponent hits 3 bars of power, 40% of the battery will be drained to drain 0.5 bars of power and inflict a power lock debuff for a certain amount of seconds. And that is pretty much it for all of his abilities. He definitely has a lot of effects, definitely has a lot going on for him. And of course this all comes together to make one of the best tech champions in the game. But anyways, on to this man's attire and... I don't know what 2099 drip looks like, but this definitely ain't it. It definitely does look good and clean to some extent, but it just doesn't click with me. It definitely is an upgrade compared to the original Punisher, and I kinda like how the skull is now made out of guns and knives and then two guns at the top too, and I do like how he has a collar, it definitely makes him look much better. But the problem comes when you look at his neck. What kind of what what is going on man i don't i think what they were going for was to make the black so that it looks like he's a skull or something but it ends up looking a little bit goofy 
especially with how the cut was supposed to look like a fade but yo and the profile picture isn't helping him either all in all i do think it's a good design and i think i'll be giving it a 6 or 7 out of 10 but anyways on to the topic of why you should play him and for this it's pretty simple one it's his utility two it's his damage and three if you pulled him as a seven star starting with his utility it's not a lot when compared to someone like onslaught but the fact that it's just so good makes him that much better and for this what i'm talking about specifically is the 90 percent less power when you hit the opponent it's so broken that you can even take opponents down without them throwing a single special attack which is incredibly useful against champions like Galen, maybe the destroyer although he's immune to armor break and all but there's a lot of fights where you don't want champions throwing some special attacks the stuns on his heavy attacks also allow him to stun lock the opponent for a good amount of time though it's not the most reliable thing in the world it definitely can save you in certain situations he also has a regen buff which can save you in certain situations and with his awakened ability he becomes one of the best power control champs in the game when it comes to his damage you'd expect it to be a little bit mid a little bit low but no this dude hits like a truck and the fact that the gameplay shown is only at rank 1 i can't imagine how it would look at rank 3 when you consider his damage and the fact that the opponent will be gaining 90% less power, I'm pretty sure you can tell why he's one of the best champions to get. Very simple yet very effective and if you pull them from the crucible crystal then you can consider that a W. And that is pretty much it for Punisher 2099, let me know down in the comments what you guys think on him, whether you think he's the best champion in the crucible crystal or if you think that title goes to someone else. Don't forget to join my Discord group, the link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Hola, Tommy, ¿cómo estás? ¡Gracias!